everyone and welcome back to my channel so today I made a small or not small but it's semi small two bedroom I'm not really sure what the style of this house is um, it kind of looks like not a tutor a colonial no not a colonial um, I can't think of anything it looks like a certain style <laughs> Um, but it's, it's a tiny, like, narrow home, and it's a two-bedroom, two-bath home, and guys, I'm actually making a cast for this one, so the cast will come out shortly after this video, and it's just gonna be, like, a short little cast video. I did not pick, like, all the, um, like, multiple outfits, I just did, like, one, um, so yeah, so that will come after this video. Uh, so yeah, expect that to come like right after. Um, I just have to figure out like how to edit and record and stuff like that. But yeah, and again, I'm sorry guys that it's taken me a while to get this out to you guys. Um, I thought it was gonna be done faster because it's smaller, but I've been kind of busy. Um, sorry. Um, but yeah, so this is a. <sighs> I want to say it's a tutor. It's not a tutor. It's a. Oh man, I'm sorry, I forgot. Um, but yeah, it's like really cute, like little narrow home. And uh, the story behind this one is that um, two roommates, uh, completely opposite roommates, live here, and they're just like they um they bought this house uh, together, and they remodeled it and um, you know they're kind of like like if if uh, the sims had an age it would be like maybe mid mid um, 20s so they're you know not quite ready for kids or marriage or anything they're just living their lives going to work um, you know normal 20 stuff or sim 20 stuff because they bought a house every it, but um, yeah, they were like currently living in Semashuno and they have completely different personalities. Um, so one of them is like she's I think her name is Morgan and she's like super duper, like, like I want to say hippie, but like she, you know, she she has good vibes and her room is very like. Oh, not. Her room is so amazing. Her room is the front one with the windows, um, and her room is like super bright and super sh like just like so colorful. And there's like crystals and stuff like that. And it's she's very into energies. She's very you know she's vegetarian. She's very like hip. You know, she's very hippie like, but she's really cool. And her roommate's like the complete opposite. So he, I think his name is. Jake. Yeah, I think his name is Jake, and he is a gay man, and he's very artistic, but he also, um, you know, wants to build, like, his own empire, and he wants to be an, he's an entrepreneur, he wants to be his own boss, and um, he's very artsy, because I think he has, like, an easel, um, but, like, you can tell the difference, like, in the rooms when you guys see it. Um, her room is like super cluttered and very colorful and his is like very put together because he's a very like put together guy and yeah they just have like different personalities and she's always like telling him to like um, to light up and be more like fun loving. Um, by the way I did change the garage door, oh the garage quotation quotation mark back to the color that it was because it's actually very beautiful the way it was before. Um, this house was pretty fun to build. I've never built a narrow house before. Um, I was afraid that the rooms and the bathrooms weren't gonna work, but they don't have bathtubs. Um, they just have showers, so it works out pretty okay. And then the the room that was supposed to be the garage or whatever, it's just a very big laundry room. And the kitchen and the living room are actually upstairs. Um, so. It's a very different layout from what I've made, but I actually really like it. And I've never used white floors before, 
so I was really happy to use like white floors and I even like Pinterest this guys you know me and wallpaper like I have a hard time <laughs> choosing wallpaper all the time like I I tried to do a different method that I heard somebody, I think it was Ashley Sydney Life, who told me that, or she was on her videos, that she likes to put like the the, um, the furniture down before choosing the wallpaper. And I tried to do that here with this build, and it's still like, I I had to Pinterest it. I'm like, well, what do people use with white floors? And on Pinterest, there's a lot of white walls, so. <laughs> For the living room, um, I, I would say like Jake kind of took the role in the living room and kind of just was like, we can't go too bold with color, let's just go with the white and kind of like decorate and stuff like that. They pretty much just gutted this house and just made it from scratch their own, um, so it's their own like little baby. Um, but yeah, they're really good friends. They've known each other for a long time since they were kids. And, you know, they had an apartment in San Maishuno, but it just wasn't big enough. They love to entertain. They love to have friends over. They love, I mean, this house is pretty small upstairs for like a dinner party, but definitely downstairs you can add a little bit, um, not downstairs, but in the backyard you can add a little, a little bit more seating. And, yeah, like, it's just really nice. It's a nice, I just end up going with white walls. The, the, the walls in the kitchen are blue. They're blue walls. Um, and I did change it to, like, tile. Like, I wish we had, like, black and white tile. I know we have white. It's not tile. It's the tile that looks like, um, that looks like that one wall that the what is that called? Oh my gosh. I'm sorry guys. My brain is like not here right now. <laughs> um, like that wall near the dining table. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. But it looks like that and you'll see it soon. And I really tried to like clutter the whole house as much as I could. I think her room is the most cluttered um, that I, I did. And the living room was a little bit um like a little bit reserved and a little bit cluttered. Um, I try to do a mix of both um, of their styles um, in this house. So uh, yeah, that's what I try to do here. Like I try to just clutter up the living room a little bit. And since it's officially fall in Cal, well, it's officially fall here in California. As I, I know it's fall everywhere else, but it's officially fall. So I made it a, a fall theme, and um, they are not in the pictures um, of the finished product because I wanted to get this video as soon as we could. Um, but they are currently in the fall season uh, right now. So um, yeah, I really like the process of how her room started out. Um, it was going to be kind of bare. To be honest, like um, it looked a little bare. Oh, I just I just saw a um, thing. Um, then like I think once I put the yeah once I put the rug down and the um, the curtains for the curtains yeah the curtains for the for the for the windows it everything kind of like clicked on how I wanted this room to look like. So it's pretty interesting to see the process. Even when I was editing, I was like, wow, I like started off kind of bare and then I started adding, like, adding some things that would fit in this room and then saying, well, this bed doesn't fit here. So I do change the bed and um, to something else. I honestly wish we could change, like personal, personalize the colors in the beds because I feel like there's not enough color waves. Um, yeah, once see once I put the curtains down, I was like, this bed has to go. Like, it does not fit the room, does not fit the aesthetics that I am going for in this room. And so I changed it to a yellow bed because her room is like very bright and like the energy in there is like very friendly and very happy. And that's just the type of person that she is. She 
doesn't let anything bother her she's always happy in a way like she takes negative actions and like makes it into a positive lesson uh i honestly wish i could be like that in real life but <laughs> um but yeah so i tried to add some like little clutter items a lot of this stuff i'm sorry guys it's from city living uh so i'm sorry if you don't have city living um it's just that it fit with the aesthetics in the room um because a lot of like the city living stuff is kind of like very i want to say bohemian very like hippie-ish and yeah i kind of like that kind of like that we had the option well, here's where I changed the background. See, so I was talking about that tile there. I wish we had that in like black and white because I really wanted like a black and white kitchen tile. Um, but we only have it in white. Like, I wish I had like the lining. I wish it was black. You know? Um, but yeah, I, I added some finishing touches here and there. Um, the bathroom is the bathrooms are really small. <laughs> Just to let you guys know, I really hope that your sim doesn't have a hard time um, getting around there. But the bathrooms are pretty small. And they're a little bit cluttered. Well, hers is anyway. His is very like put together and it's very clean. Like if you like you see that, like that room compared to his room, it's like a complete like turnaround it's like very opposite rooms and you definitely see that once I start doing like the decorations for his room and so yeah so I've never made a Kaz video um, for and I must admit I don't really watch them but I really wanted to do one for this one because it's only two people versus the farmhouse which is like five people <laughs> and um, yeah, I really wanted to do it for this one at least because there's only like two people and it shouldn't have, it shouldn't take so long. And I really want to try to put out as many videos as I possibly can for you guys. Um, so that's why I think I kind of wanted to do it for this this build uh, because you know it wasn't gonna take that long. Hopefully, it won't take that long to edit. I honestly don't know how to edit it. <laughs> I don't know how to edit or record. Um, I guess I'll do like a voiceover for it. Um, see how it goes, I guess. Let's see. Where it's a learning process. We'll both we'll both learn together <laughs> as we go along. So yeah, so this is his room and I wanted to use that little carpet there to add like a spark of art, I guess, in his room. Because he is like an artist, sort of. Um, he likes to do it for fun, but he's not like 100% sure he wants to commit to being an artist because he does want to like grow in life and eventually he'll want his own house. Um, you know, eventually he'll just want his own place. I just realized guys like the exit to like the outside is through his bedroom so it's a little bit of awkward, like an awkward um, floor plan, but that's that's how the floor plan was where I got it from. So I was like, all right, that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, and I wanted to change out the mirror to add a little bit of her style into the living room as well. It's definitely definitely his style because it's very clean, but you know, she had to add a little bit of her touches as well. And then this is his bathroom. Like I said, the bathrooms are pretty small in this house. Um, you can definitely expand if you like. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a way to expand this whole entire house and more, uh, to put more bedrooms in it. So, so yeah, you guys, I'm so excited for Halloween. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty nervous. Um, I really wanna make some spooky houses for you guys. Um, maybe some like abandoned looking houses or something um and i really want to do a mansion like I, I think i'm gonna do that mansion for the day of halloween so wednesday um i'm gonna come out with like a spooky build uh that i should start soon oh and there's a cat in this one 
Oh, I have to make the cat. So I will definitely make the cat for the cats as well. I don't have a name for the cat, so if you guys can comment below and give me some names um, before I like start doing the cat. <laughs> I should be doing that soon. I already have Jake down and I have the base of Morgan. Um, but she's not completely finished yet because I had to go to work yesterday. So, like I started doing it before work and I'm like, oh crap, I gotta go get ready. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I will definitely get to meet her and the cat tomorrow. But yeah, there, this house is a cat house. I even put like a cat rug on the outside. <laughs> Cause it's definitely a cat house. Um... I forgot what I was saying. I was talking about Halloween. Um, so I'm going to have one big match in for the day of Halloween. And then um, if you guys want like maybe like abandoned houses or like spooky houses. Or maybe I could remodel one of the houses that it comes with. Um, I mean if you guys have the vampire stuff pack. You know the, the houses that they come in. Um, God. I like don't know the word the, the world's names. <laughs> um, it's like hollow or something. I can definitely remodel some of those, and um, I don't know if I'm 100% ready to do my own mansion. I will try. I want to do something very special for Halloween. Um, I'm just a little nervous to try because I know it's gonna be a lot of work, <laughs> and. I hope my computer can handle it. And also guys, uh, my intro is still bubbly Sydney. I know. I'm having a hard time justifying um, buying Filmora if I'm just going to use it for an intro. So we shall see what happens with that. But my name is still Bubby Simi. And if you want to follow me on social media, it's under Bubby Simi. And this house will be available in the gallery before it has, hopefully, um, under Bubby Simi, double eyes on the Simi part, so S-I-I-M-I-I. -I -I. Um, and the hashtag, so if you search for hashtags, it should be Bubby Simi, like my name. Um, yeah, so if you all would like to um, get notifications of when I upload video, please make sure to subscribe and ding the little bell. Make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and I will try my hardest to upload more often. Um, I really do love making video for you guys and um, I really love like the reactions that I get and it's very therapeutic and I love it. <laughs> so. I will try my hardest to make more um, throughout the week. Um, so be on the lookout for that. And make sure you follow me on Twitter and Instagram under Bubby Simi uh, when you want to like, I've been doing like some sneak previews and stuff like that on my Instagram story. So if you want to do that, make sure to do that. And stay tuned to the very end because we have pictures of how this finishing product and thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.